Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Made it halfway through the week. I am at home tomorrow working in my home office and then I have Friday off so yay. I was running a little bit late so I have just a couple minutes to show you what I'm bringing for snacks. So I have one of these 100 calorie bags of veggie straws. This is the cheddar cheese. Never tried these before. Four points for the bag. So a little bit higher points. Um, I'll probably go over in points today because I think I'm having the taco pizza, taco pasta for lunch today. Um, so we'll see. I did bring some protein pudding and I brought an apple. I have yogurt and applesauce and carrots at work in my refrigerator. Have my protein coffee per use. Um, I also brought, which I probably won't eat these. I brought actually a couple of these to give to a couple coworkers. I did actually miss just make an order. These are the healthy, what are they called? healthy eating on the go bars. Love these. They're a little bit higher points, um, but I usually only eat half of one because they're super rich to me, um, but they're super, super, super good ingredients. When I get my, um, I just made the order yesterday. When I get it, I'll kind of go through these a little bit, but I did do like a review on these. Um, my favorite, 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 which is what I'm going to give to my boss because I want her to try it, is the peanut butter um, so they usually, they have an almond butter base or peanut butter base. And this was the blueberry and dark chocolate. By far my favorite. Um, but I did order the sampler pack is what I ordered um, to give them a try. But I'm going to, I brought a few of them, but I probably won't eat one. I think I'm, like I said, I'm just going to give them to my boss and let her try them. Okay, heading off to work. I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Hey guys, it is lunchtime. I've been in meetings most of the morning. It's been busy, but I'm feeling so caught up with things. It is so nice. So I'm just heading home for lunch. Actually, I think I'm gonna stop and grab something to drink. Um, I may grab an energy drink or something. I'm feeling like I need a boost of energy. Um, I ate my, so I was in a meeting from like 8.30 until about 11.30. I, um, as soon as I got out of the meeting, I was like starving. So I ate my protein pudding and then I ate those cheddar cheese, um, straws, veggie straws. Those are now my new favorite. Like they are so good. So I ate those. Now I'm not hungry at all. So I think I may, may save my taco pasta that I was going to have for lunch and just have it for dinner tonight because I just have a feeling I'm not going to want like a full meal. So I still have my apple. So I think I'll just, if I get hungry after lunch, I think I'll just have my apple and maybe an applesauce or something, but you gotta love, it's like love my hair today. Um, but yeah, I think because that protein pudding, even that little small like serving is so filling. There's just something about it that is so filling. It is really, really good. Um, so anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know that that's what I'm gonna have. So protein pudding is two points and the veggie straws are four. So technically I had six points kind of for my lunch, <laughs> kind of snacky lunch. Um, and like I said, anything else will be pretty low point, but I think that's what I'll do. I'll just have that taco pasta for dinner. Um, I can't wait to have that again because it was absolutely amazing. Now I have got to call my oldest son because he just texted me. So I'm gonna do that and enjoy my lunch. Okay, so taco pasta for a dinner tonight. And you guys, this tastes good. Like I just took a bite and it almost tastes better after like a couple of days. Like it's so amazing how these kind of things like just taste better after the spices and the ingredients like melt together. This is just so good. I cannot recommend this enough. So check out my meal prep video to see how I made this. Okay, so this is some sugar-free, I think black cherry, is that what I did? I think it's black cherry um, jello and then a whole container plain non-fat Greek yogurt. We're gonna mix these two, to, like a cup of this with this in the blender. And then it says to put it in the freezer for about 15 to 30 minutes until it's kind of crisp, like kind of, you know, kind of frozen. But this doesn't look like much more than one cup. We'll see what this ends up being. Left that much. I mean, I don't know. How do you measure out a cup of Jello? It was kind of weird. So we have it in here. We're going to mix it up. Okay, so it's pretty and I tasted it. It tastes really good, um, but I'm gonna put it in the freezer so it sets up more because it's kind of runny. It's more like a, kind of like a yogurt consistency, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the freezer and then we'll give it a taste. Okay, forgive my unmade bed. I usually make my bed at lunchtime because my husband's still usually in bed or just getting out of bed when I leave for work. So I usually make it at lunchtime, but I was telling you, I was talking to my son. So I had this in the freezer for an hour, about, mm, yeah, about an hour, I would say a little over an hour. And it's not any more set up than it was before when I put it in there. So it's really like a consistency. I may put it back in there and just let it sit in there longer 
Um, so it's more, it's like really a consistency of yogurt. You can see. I don't know if it will set up anymore. I mean, I don't know how it could, honestly. The jello was already set up, so I don't know. But we're gonna give this a taste. Hmm. I have mixed feelings on this. Okay, the flavor tastes really good, but it honestly just tastes like, as far as the flavor, it just tastes like black cherry yogurt. So there's not much difference than just buying a black cherry yogurt, to be honest. Um, but the jello makes it kind of have a weird texture. Like it, almost like a, almost like what I would feel like, I mean, okay, here's the thing. It tastes good, but it's almost like, it tastes like what I feel like a yogurt would taste like if it was going bad. Like it just has like some weird chunkiness and chalkiness kind of to it. Yeah. I don't know if I can recommend this. Like I really don't know. There's a couple different ways you can make it, but honestly, this really, if I think about it, yogurt already has a lot of protein so this is supposed to be like protein jello and i honestly just don't know why you need to make jello with protein like i like jello on its own i understand if you want to try to add some protein to it if you're eating jello as a snack but if you're going to have this you might as well just have a yogurt for a snack i mean i just kind of how i feel it's just not that great so, yeah, I mean, we had to try it though, right? I mean, you're not gonna know until you try it. I am gonna stick it back in the freezer and let it kind of freeze almost solid and then kind of let it thaw out a little bit and just see if it more has more of like a frozen yogurt taste to it. That's what I'm gonna try. Yeah, I don't know. Although it does kind of taste better than a black cherry yogurt because you know how like Jell-O has such a nice, like a smooth flavor to it? It kind of adds that on there, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Try it. Let me know. Let me know if you've tried something like this and if there's another recipe for it. But yeah, I don't know. Happy Thursday. It is actually three o'clock. <laughs> so I'm starting this vlog a little bit late. It's been it's been a day. It hasn't been that bad actually though. I'm feeling so good. I'm down to 44 emails and a lot of these I'm gonna knock out today in the next um, hour or so. I may work just about a half hour over or so. Um, but I'm gonna knock these out today. That is my goal. So what have I done today? Um, I did not have anything for breakfast, had my protein coffee, so that is right here. I didn't even finish quite all of it. Oh, now I'm getting like all over me. I have definitely have not drank as much water as I should, which I don't do when I'm at home, which is terrible. So I need to drink some more water. So I'm trying to finish up my water, but I um, had lunch with a coworker. And so I knew I was going to lunch. I didn't know what I was going to have right away. And so I did not eat any anything else except for just my protein coffee for breakfast. And then I did have some skinny pop because my lunch wasn't until 1.30. So I knew I would be starving, which I was. So I had the skinny pop, which is, love the skinny pop popcorn, y'all. So I had that and the protein coffee and then I went to lunch. So for lunch, I ended up having a like tostada. And that's like a pretty big, like, you know, it's not just like the small tostadas you buy at the store. Like they're, it's like a plate size. Um, it had lettuce, it had, it did have some refried beans, which I'm sure we're not fat free, so I'll have to count for those. Um, I had tomatoes, I said no sour cream, um, and I had gu guacamole on top with some chicken. And I know the chicken there is not made um, with anything else because I've asked before. So pretty low points and low calorie, I feel like. So I had that for lunch, and that's all I've had. I honestly think dinner tonight, I am going to do Subway mainly just because I don't feel like cooking anything. And I have a little bit of um, ground turkey and cauliflower rice left that I could do a burrito, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow for lunch um, or dinner or something because we'll be going out to dinner, but not until Saturday. So I think I'm just gonna go with cleaning up my leftovers tomorrow. And um, today I think I'm gonna do Subway because I'm also going to, after I get off work, my exercise today is gonna be mowing the lawn. And we don't have a huge amount of lawn, but by the time, every time I mow the lawn, I do end up getting about a mile and a half of, I see like my makeup, it's, it's hot outside. My makeup's like falling off my face. Um, I would do about, about a mile and a half by the time I get done walking back and forth, emptying out the lawn mower. So that's gonna be my exercise today. And it is pretty warm out there. So I'm gonna do that when I get off work, mow the lawn, 
and then start watering it because it is supposed to really get hot this week, like upper 80s, which is which is hot here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do. I my, my grass needs to be um, watered, so I'm gonna put. I'm gonna mow real quick, put the water on, and then I'm sure I'm not gonna feel like making dinner after doing all that. My camera's almost dead, but I want to show you what I did today. It doesn't look very good from in here, but I mowed over here and then the rest of our lawn is over there, but I'm watering it because finally it's warm enough to water. Water going on both sides of the house. Um, this is like the, this is probably the larger part of our yard. We don't have a very big yard, but the other one's like long and narrow. So I don't know, it may be about the same, but here's what I love about mowing the lawn. I mean, not many people will say that they love mowing the lawn. There's a few reasons why I like it. So you should try it sometime. Um, just because, just try it, just try it. If you normally are not the one that mows the lawn and you you just, just try it. Because, well, for one thing, like I said, we don't have a very big lawn. Um, this time I got about a mile in. And the reason why, you know, last time I got a mile and a half and the reason why I got more was because the lawn was a lot taller and I had to go dump the um you know the little grass catcher thingy i had to like dump that like over and over again this time i only had to dump it once from this side and like two other times from the other side so i definitely didn't have to walk back and forth but i got um i closed up my exercise ring closed up my standing ring and closed up my other ring today so i closed up all three rings ended up getting a little over a mile when I got done with that. Let me check everything. For the whole day, I did 8,356 steps. So, so far, I mean, I'm not done for the day. It's only seven, it's about 7.30ish or so. So my husband will be home, um, he gets off at eight, so he'll be home about 8.15 or so. Oh, I'm tired though. Oh, I forgot to tell you though. This is what I picked up for dinner. I have not eaten yet. I'm gonna go eat dinner and then relax. I have to fill out some insurance paperwork for my husband's new job, but um, I mean, I'm gonna sit down and relax a little bit because I am really tired. I have been really active today um, considering I worked from home today and only have to walk six steps to the bathroom. <laughs> so, um, but I, things that, oh, dinner. So what I got for dinner from Subway, I got a salad. It's a spinach salad with all the veggies except for olives because I don't do olives and a little bit of shredded iceberg lettuce, but mostly spinach. I did say I wanted less of the um, sweet teriyaki dressing. I don't know how many points that is, but I knew I had extra points and stuff. It does look like they gave me more than less because <laughs> you can say less, more, or regular. Um, and I, then I got an oven roasted turkey six inch on the multi-grain bread. And I don't get cheese or any kind of like um, mayo or anything on that. I just get mustard and then I have them toast it. So that's my dinner tonight and I'll pop up a little thing here of it. Um, and then tomorrow resets for my day or for my week. And I think I'm going to weigh in tomorrow because I'm feeling really good about where I'm at and we'll see what happens. I mean, I have not weighed in the last couple weeks because you guys know I told you I just did not feel like um, I was doing very well. It wasn't like I was overeating. I was actually, if anything, under eating and just super stressed over things. But now things are just going really well. I feel so good since my husband got that new job and he's not working graveyard anymore. And at first, you know, I didn't think that it was an issue for me. It, you know, it was an issue for him. We think that's what was causing some of his, you know, his moods and stuff. Um, and, you know, so we don't know, like he, he's doing really, really well. And we don't know if it's a combination of the medication, the little bit of therapy that he was able to do before he lost his insurance. And then, um, and then the new work schedule, because this is his third week. Yeah, he just started, well, this is the end of his third week of working, and he, I can tell he's doing so much better, and I've noticed I'm doing really better. So again, I don't know if it's my reaction to him doing better, so I'm feeling really good, or if it is because he's off of that graveyard shift, and maybe it was bugging me more than I thought it was, but I just feel, I feel great. I feel really good. So I really feel like I am on, <laughs> A really good track now and now that we have the um, hormones and the emotions and stuff in check I think I can you know I think we're gonna see some stuff going on we have to you know we have to be healthy whole you know it can't just be one thing you can't just be physical and you're eating right everything has to be in sync usually to be able to see results at least for me I do and um, the weather's getting better and it's just it's just really good and I think oh I think I was gonna talk about why you should mow the lawn if you have not mowed the lawn. This is why you should. 
one, you're getting out in the sunshine. So for me, that was a must because you guys know I've been missing that. So getting out in the sunshine. Plus, it is good exercise. I am feeling it everywhere, my shoulders especially, which I could really, really tone up my shoulders. I mean, I really need to. So I could feel it in like my chest here and in my shoulders and in my upper arms. And then, of course, you know, your legs and just, you know, just pushing it, I could feel it in my core and stuff too. So I feel like it's a full body workout and you're getting your steps in and you're outside. And I just put my, I put my headphones in, my earbuds in, and I turn on a podcast and I just go. I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's just that I don't even think about it. I just turn it on and I just go and I just listen and I don't pay attention to anything. And it's just almost relaxing. See, that's the thing with me. It's like, I hate exercise. However, if it's something like that, that I'm being productive at the same time I'm exercising, it doesn't feel like exercise to me. So if you call something exercise, getting on a treadmill, getting on an exercise bike, doing, you know, doing even a workout video feels like exercise. Going for a walk outside when you can, doing things like yard work, you know, like a few weeks ago, we did a bunch of gardening and stuff, pulled a bunch of weeds. I did not mind that at all. And that was definitely a full body workout as well. So if I can make a workout turn into something that's productive and I'm not actually working out, (laughs) then I can definitely trick myself into feeling like I, you know, that I'm doing something, but I'm not working out, but I really am. Does that make sense? Anybody else like that? I can't believe I'm the only one like that because I feel like that's, you know, that's for me, even like doing stuff around the house when I'm doing a lot of organizing or deep cleaning and stuff, you know, it's a really good workout, but you're also accomplishing something. And that is definitely like my end goal in a lot of stuff in life. So anywho, just wanted to share that with you. Oh, so you did not see that second dessert that I thought about making because I don't really want it. And I don't, I'm not really feeling like things that are sweet this week. And that, that jello protein was like such a fail. Um, and I know this thing I want to do is not going to be a fail, but I'm just not feeling, I don't want to make it just to make it. Cause I feel like I'm wasting stuff. And I do have a super, super good idea for the, um, crescent rolls. That's more of a savory thing that I really want to try this weekend. So I will film that for you guys. Um, it'll probably be in like meal prep video. I'll probably just throw it in my meal prep video. I think even if I'm end up making it like, I think I may make it tomorrow or Saturday, but I'll just throw it in my meal prep video because it kind of it's going to be prepped. It's going to be kind of like meal prep. Anyway, I got to go move the water, eat my dinner, and then probably take a shower before I go to bed or I might just take one in the morning. Yeah, so it's been a great week, you guys. It's been fun hanging out with you all. Um, stay tuned for the next video, which will be um, probably a grocery haul. Um, I may do a weigh-in video. We'll just see if I can get one filmed. That's another thing I would like to do tomorrow is do some filming um, and some like YouTube planning, but I am really enjoying these daily vlogs and everybody else seems to be enjoying them too. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.